I'm annoying myself, so that's not good. My name is Amy Ecker and welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time. Today we are doing a Morphe all day wear test. How does it start out? How does it do? I don't know. We're going to find out together. Okay, so as far as the Morphe F220, this is the full coverage foundation, one standard fluid ounce. It's supposed to be 24 hour long wear, sweat proof, transfer resistant, and water resistant, free of oils fragrance and parabens. It's great for all skin types. And so anytime someone, you know, I keep getting bought or I keep getting suckered into these 24 hour foundations because sometimes I have long work days and I really want the foundation to last. However, when I do an all day wear test, I put it to the test. I don't blot. I don't repowder. I don't do any of that stuff. I have not put a setting spray on, so we are going to do that right now so that we are consistent with all my other wear tests. And we used the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray for the setting spray, which is the one that I normally, like I said, use. As far as how did it apply, it applied really nice. I, I like how it looks on the skin. I finished my makeup powdered, etc. It looks really nice. As far as the color goes, I finally ordered something online that was spot on to my face color. It just went well. It went on well. It looks great. So yeah, I'm excited to see, especially on the transfer resistant, I have the hardest time with foundations coming off on my phone. That really grosses me out. But there's not a lot of foundations out there that are truly transfer resistant. So totally excited about that opportunity. So we're going to see how this baby does all day. And let's wish Morphe luck. Let's wish them luck. I'm going to start out with the Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray. And today we're going to try the Morphe F220 Matte Foundation. It's a full coverage foundation and it's one standard fluid ounce. So let's see how this baby does. We're going to use the Sigma F60 Kabuki Brush. I really like the color match. This is nice. Yeah, the color match is looking good. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face, see how it continues to set up, and we'll go All from All right, there. so the makeup has set up fine on my face. I am loving this Morphe foundation so far. Full coverage it is. It's just sitting very pretty. So we're going to see how this does all day. And yes, I am changing this lip. I cannot stand it. Mm-hmm. Not really excited about my makeup look overall, so don't judge Morphe. It is end of work day. Today was kind of a short day. So I've had this makeup on for about nine-ish hours. Thankfully, I live really close, like a five-minute drive to work. So I have um, this foundation's been on for a, ba ba a bit. It's been on for a bit. Nine hours. Anyhow, I, I mean, I'm pretty excited about the foundation, although it hasn't lived up to all of its claims, so we're going to talk about that. And let's zoom oh, in. Wow, my eyes look bad. Okay, now let's get all up close and personal. My nose stayed on all day, although it does look a little cakey. I just rubbed underneath my eye, so I kind of rubbed off that bit of foundation but even rubbing it it really didn't rub off bad you can see where my eyeshadow kind of fell today so you kind of see a little bit it must have flicked off my eyelashes and kind of came down on my nose my forehead looks pretty good overall my chin looks you know normal as far as my chin always goes as far as the oils pressing through, not bad, not excellent. Today was about 30, 30 days, 73 degrees. How did I get 30 days out of 73 degrees? You know, when it's here, but it comes out a little different here, you just kind of go with it. So it was about 73 degrees today. Overall, I mean, I think this didn't do bad. It... 
like as far as my nose looking a little cakey, it it kind of looks like the foundation isn't sitting in the skin, just a little bit on top of it, but not bad. I've seen it where it looks like it's actually floating on my skin. This doesn't look like it's floating. Now I do have some oil that has come through, which is normal for my really oily skin. My cheeks look fine. I'm still cracking up about how much eyeshadow fell down on my nose during the day. It doesn't look like I had bounced it in my pores really good right there, or it may have separated. But overall, I mean, I'm kind of happy with how it looks. Like, if I had an after work gathering right now, and I didn't have time to pull the oils off my face or powder, which I didn't do all day long anyways, I'm not mad about this foundation. I am not mad about this foundation. Overall, I think it did really good. I talked to my sister-in-law about it today, and I said, you know, it's, it's about lunchtime, and it's doing pretty good so far. And she said she had heard that there wasn't some good reviews on it, um, so she wasn't sure if she was going to try it or hadn't tried it herself. And yeah, I'm just having a different experience, which is great. Like I said, I'm not mad about it. As far as the transfer proof, uh, I would say in the morning before my oil started coming through, I was using my phone and I was pretty excited. It, it wasn't transferring to my phone at that point. I used my phone on, oh, maybe right before I left work and I noticed that the, the foundation did press through. So I think as long as you have dry skin, you, it's probably transfer proof. If you have oily skin, the moment those oils start pressing up and pushing the foundation up, that's where you're going to see some of the, the transferring to other things. So I did not have a transfer proof day. I was really, really hoping for one. Really, really. But it didn't happen. But I'm not mad about it. So anyways, if you have tried this Morphe foundation, I'm really curious to hear what you say about it. Um, I'd really, 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 I don't know why I'm really saying really so much. It's kind of annoying. I'm annoying myself, so that's not good. Not good. Anyways, if you have tried this foundation, I would like to hear kind of what your thoughts are and tell me what you think. I'm excited about the color. I'm happy with how it's lasted after nine hours. It's not transfer proof, but at this point, most foundations aren't, so I'm used to cleaning my phone a lot. So yeah, that's it. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching this video today using the Morphe 24-hour foundation. I really hope this video helped you with your purchasing power. If you have any questions, thoughts, or concerns, please put those below. I love interacting with the audience. Talk to you soon.